I like to bike and walk as much as possible. I have a dog that I walk most days. And if not, I just bought a smart car. I normally can be found walking on the streets of Ann Arbor. I have a pedometer that I carry with me all the time. And on a typical day, I'll walk six or seven miles. I've had my Segway for nearly two years, and I can be seen all over town. I, it, it's a fabulous way to get around town. I don't have to deal with parking issues. Well, part of it is exercise for me or for the dog. And I'd like to do a century sometime this year, uh, 100 miles by bike. If I can do that at age 50, I'd be happy. When the weather is nice and the walking path is nice, I can use it to um, catch up on my voicemail messages, uh, make phone calls while I'm walking, um, just be out and about. And oftentimes I'll have friends and customers that I'm working with and we'll go off to a meeting and they'll drive and I'll hop on my Segway and I'll beat them there by several minutes and don't have to mess with uh, parking. You see a whole lot different things when you're on foot than when you're driving somewhere or, or even riding a bike. The Get Downtown program is sort of like a consulting program for downtown commuters. We are here to ensure that both business owners as well as employees understand all of their commuting options so they can be able to bike, bus, walk, or carpool to work. We have a couple of programs. One of the ones that people really like is our Go Pass program. That is a transit pass that people can get if they work downtown and it lets them ride all of the buses for free. And one of the most exciting programs that we have is actually coming up in May and it's called the Commuter Challenge. And it's actually a free competition between businesses in Ann Arbor to see who can log the most sustainable commutes. And it's a good way for people to be able to see how many calories they burn when they walk to work, how many CO2 emissions they are able to uh, avoid if they carpool, as well as how much fun they can have by hanging out and getting to know their coworkers better. Quinn Evans has been involved at least for five years with the Get Downtown Bus Program. This will be our third year doing the Commuter Challenge. We have a lot of staff that walk or bike or bus, um, so it's sort of an added incentive for them. And then I work to try and link people up within the office to start carpools. Quinn Evans does a lot of sustainable design work, so as a company, professionally, we're committed to work to help lessen our impact on the environment and this is just another way to, to do that. Well Google signed up for the Commuter Challenge and we've had over 50 of our employees sign up to compete this year uh, and already on the first day of competition we've logged you know, several miles, saved several pounds of carbon emissions. Google does a lot to, to make it easy for their employees to get downtown. Uh, we all have the Get Downtown Go Passes for, for bus travel downtown. Uh, you know, a, a lot of the employees live in the downtown area, so they walk to work. Uh, they have a bike room downstairs where you can store your bike, uh, even showers if you have a, a bit of a longer ride and need to clean up before you can come into work. JSTOR has decided to participate with the Commuter Challenge. We have many employees that are advocates of going green, which is a very popular um, concept in Ann Arbor these days. And we have many, many employees that like to bike to work. We use the go passes. We also have a commuter lot that takes 10 minutes to walk into work. So we have a lot of people that really take it seriously, the concept of recycling, reuse, and reduce, the three R's of um, being environmentally conscious. We're not necessarily trying to get those people that are already on our side, already gung-ho about transportation, to just do the same thing they do every other month. We're actually trying to engage those people that are in that sort of, I might consider camp, I might bike to work, maybe I want a bus to work, I'm thinking about carpooling, but I don't really know what to do, I don't really know how to get out of my habits. Uh, that's really what the Commuter Challenge is trying to do, is trying to shake up people's habits, shake up people's way of normally doing things, and it's truly something that makes Ann Arbor Ann Arbor, because what better to think about Ann Arbor than a fun competition that helps the environment, that's good for your pocketbook, and that's good for your health.